So, you got an M4 Mac Mini during the holidays. Congratulations. I think those are quite a good deal for a small, powerful, general-purpose computer in 2024-25. So, if, like many, you got the base model with 16 gigabytes of RAM and a 256 gig SSD, you may realize that it's not a big amount of storage these days and wonder if you may be cheaped out and are possibly regretting it. Well, short of returning the device and getting an upgraded model, there are three main options available to you to increase your working storage. 1. Attach an external USB or Thunderbolt SSD. Thunderbolt uses a USB-C connector but typically operates at a higher speed. 2. Connect the Mac Mini to a hub, giving both additional storage and additional ports via the hub itself. 3. Upgrade the internal SSD of the Mac Mini, which, after some initial confusion, seems to be a viable option. The first choice is the least disruptive and probably the least expensive. You pick an enclosure either with an installed SSD or with one you supply, attach your Mac Mini and off you go. There are a lot of choices and you should be able to find one that fits in with your needs. Some match the Mac's design aesthetic, some are made to stand out or make a statement. It's your call, of course, but if the enclosure does not come with an SSD, make sure it supports NVMe M.2 SSDs and offers USB 3.2 Gen 2 or Thunderbolt 4 for optimal speed. Specifically, look for enclosures with speeds up to 10 gigabits per second USB 3.2 or 40 gigabits per second Thunderbolt 4, depending on your needs. If you do video work, probably go for the Thunderbolt. In tests I have seen, external storage can be just as fast at disk read and write operations as the internal SSD. The second choice of a hub can give a bit more flexibility in terms of adding more ports to your Mac Mini setup, including things like card readers, which may be a useful feature for those of you with digital cameras or video equipment. The same suggestions for speed and connectivity apply to a hub, while also giving consideration to the number of ports and their layout. Are they in the front or rear of the hub, and does that matter to you? By the way, I have links to enclosures and hubs in the video description below. The M4 Mac Mini has airflow on the bottom of the case, and most available hubs are designed to accommodate that. Some hubs sit below the Mini, while some perch on top like a little hat. Bear in mind the new Mac Mini has the power button on the bottom of the case, which may make it a little fiddly to get to with some dogs. Some people find that really irritating, while it doesn't particularly bother me, to be honest. Lastly, we come to a bit of a controversial choice, actually replacing the internal storage card of the Mini. Now, while Apple does put the storage on a removable card that looks like a regular SSD, it is in fact just the storage memory, and the controller is actually on the system mainboard. In other words, you can't grab any M2 SSD and just swap it out. There are some third-party kits beginning to surface that allow you to swap out the 256GB internal module for something larger, but they do involve opening the Mac Mini and getting your hands dirty, so to speak. I'm also unclear on Apple's thoughts on this, even though they do make the card removable. If anyone knows, please leave a comment below, although I suspect Apple would not want us monkeying around with their new baby. After replacing the module, you would need to reinstall macOS and then continue with the upgraded storage. Personally, I'd wait till the dust settles a little on that option, though, at least to see if these kits are of decent quality after some real-world use. So, you do have options, although honestly, I have an older MacBook Air with 256 gigs of storage, and even though I edit videos and stuff on it, like this one, I don't particularly notice or worry about skimpy storage. Now, I do have a cloud service I use too, so that helps as well. Another option if you have a decent internet service. I hope that was helpful to someone, and we'll catch you next time. Take care.